Yo, what's up guys, welcome back from all the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, the new Skyfang slash Pirate Archetype. Pirate Archetype is definitely, or is finally on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, so let's try it out. There is still like a glitch or a script error in the trap card, but it will be featured. At least, it doesn't really matter uh, too much, since um, not really, the trap card is not in the main deck. I prefer something like Call of the Haunted or Return to the Front in the main deck. Reasons for that will become clear really uh, soon. As for the monsters, there are a couple of new monsters for the Archetype type here, um, you can split them, right, of the tribute, the high level monsters and the low level monsters. The low level monsters all have the same effect, well, one of their effects are all the same, is that when they are on the field, their continuous effect can trigger, or at least you can use that particular effect to special summon any uh, sky fang monster from your uh, hand to the field. So that includes the high level monsters. And then, you know, depending on which uh, low level monster you, you have on the field, you have to special summon another sky fang monster from your hand to the field to to trigger that particular monster that was already on the field to use that um, to use that effect, right? And all these pirate monsters have their own effect. There's like a Strattles level three, the level four boosts uh, the attack until the end phase. The both level twos are also definitely fine. One pops phase up cards on the field, the other one pops set cards. And their biggest boss monster, currently I think their best boss monster is at three here in the main deck. It like excavates cards equal to, you, to the amount of Skyfang monsters. And then you can add one. So it's pretty much like a duality, a pot of duality. The level seven on the other hand is also like quite good. Uh, um, also a continuous effect like once per turn and when your opponent activates a spell or trap you can discard the sky fang monster to negate that particular card again quite good so that somewhat boosts up the control factor of this deck since um, this deck is quite similar to something like you'll send you uh, or maybe something like the magical musketeers right it's like um, just normal summon and then keep special summoning the monsters from your hand. So you're quickly emptying your hand, uh, same like your Senzu or your Senju's. But uh, unlike your Senjus, you can't run something like Card of the Mice. Um, so other engines like the Predalband engine, Brilliant Fusion is definitely an option. Artifacts also to, again, maybe slow down the game a little bit uh, due to Artifact Sight. And on top of that, cards like Back to the Front and Call of the Haunted are definitely um, work well, you know, with the Artifact engine. Desires, or at least the deck is currently at 44 cards, which might be too much, but it's somewhat justifying um, the fact that you, you know, lowering uh, lowering the chance of drawing your um, garnets, as in um, the, the Predaplant Cobra, for example, Dandelion to some extent, and Bulb, both these cards are for a reason in the main deck, as you will see in a few moments. But again, feel free to cut this one down to 40, maybe drop a Desires, uh, drop one of the, at least drop the Plant Engine if you want, uh, and maybe add in something like Artifacts, but that's all up to you. So let's see a couple of example duels. Alright, uh, first example again, the Predaplant engine here is in the deck, uh, since, well, it's again pretty much that one card link shenanigans engine. For now, with the current uh, Skyfang cards and monsters, the, the deck is not that strong. It needs more support, it needs other engines to support it, and because of, you know, the, the standard link engines like Grinder Golem, like the Predaplant engine, Scapegoat, Instant Fusion, etc, etc, thanks to the Predaplant engine, you can go for Firewall Dragon. Again, Firewall Dragon giving you... Um, the extra summons to the field and on top of that it can potentially you know get a couple of monsters from your graveyard back to your hand so thanks to the planet Bat engine you can eventually you know go for firewall dragon and then eventually get those extra special summons and of course triggering your low level monster your sky fang monsters and um here definitely a very nice lockish uh, thingy going have that uh, christian needle fiber on my side of the field that was able to search out ghost ogre that you know can activate from the field also have have the level 7 Skyfang monster on the field to negate any spell or trap from the opponent once per turn that is by discarding a Skyfang again quite good somewhat of a yeah definitely one of these biggest uh, currently the deck's biggest advantages of you are able are able to control the game thanks to your um, level 7 monster for example nope the drowning mirror force is definitely not going to save him so I can easily attack for a game. So going first and having you, or at least you being able to establish your board, get some of their draw effects or get some of their effects going, then you should then you should be in a good position. But as you will see in a couple of moments, the deck is heavily reliant on the normal summon and if the opponent is able to stop your normal summon from going off, that's GG. Unless you have like a, a follow-up of, you know, maybe running something like Brilliant Fusion. But again, that's up to you. 
um, here. Okay, and eventually up to, you know, um, use the Maxi and not negating the Lumina's effect because, again, I was in a very good position. And if he wants to extend or commit to the board with uh, those special summons, I'll definitely get a lot of draws out of it. And me losing my monster lineup is definitely not a problem. Although he's going to send um, the Fairy Tail, at least he milled the Fairy Tail from his deck to the graveyard, but again, Scapegoat to the rescue. Since if it wasn't for Scapegoat, I would have not, been, at least I would have not have been able to go for Boreal, but most importantly, would not have had a follow up play here since he probably should have, um, you know, like on my normal summon of my Skyfang monster, maybe Fairy Tail to put it face down and then. Nope, no special summon, right? I can't use the uh, Goblinburg effect. There is a fairy tale putting the level 8, I think, uh, phase down, but I'm definitely going to use its effect, failure ish effect, like, you know, again, discarding a Skyfang monster and then negate any monster effect from your opponent. So that's good, but sadly it doesn't destroy the card. Eventually going for Griffin as well to negate any special summoned monsters effect. Well, any, you know, special summoned monster effect on the field. Somewhat again grinding, keeping control of the duel. The Utopia is not a threat since again it cannot activate its effect. A special summoned monster and not linked or in a zone where a link monster is pointing to. Um, again, going for, uh, what is it called, Proxy Dragon indeed to make my uh, big Skyfang monster life or, to, or, you know, able to use this effect since, again, it's linked to Proxy Dragon. Um, okay, uh, Blue Eyes again, I get to start. And here is definitely where this deck's, um, one of the current advantages this deck already has is the possibility to play during your opponent's turn. Again, you have those uh, multiple special summons, all of them have that particular effect and then end with your bigger level 8. Excavate like four cards I believe and then one of them you can add to your hand. Desire is immediately getting more options and here make sure that you uh, either yeah, probably link away your high level monster and make sure that you leave the Stratos level 3 on the field and the level 2 that pops phase up cards on the field since the cards like Call of the Haunted or uh, Return to the Front can trigger all of those if like a monster, a Skyfang monster is uh, special summoned to your opponent at least to the field during your opponent's turn. So again, the the big, uh, the high level Skyfang monsters uh, have their effects activated when they are summoned, while the low level monsters, the level uh, two, three, and four, uh, will only trigger when another Skyfang monster is summoned. So again, potentially, again, you're you're playing during your opponent's turn, like popping a face up card, but maybe popping a set card, getting a search off of the Stratos during your opponent's turn. So the ability that this ha that this deck has to play during your opponent's turn, that's definitely one of their biggest strengths and should, um, you know, um, you should definitely concentrate on that with something like Return to the Front, Call of the Hound in the main deck, but again, that's up to you. The Predator Plant Engine, again, coming in clutch. Again, pretty much the same, right? Using a uh, Firewall Dragon's effect eventually, and also have the option to go for Troy Mare Griffin. Why not, right? Especially, um, you know, you can lock like any special summon, at least any deck that heavily relies on special summons, unless, you know, they can um, uh, link summon and use their special summon monster effects. Um, like after they link summon, right? Have Needle Fiber on my side of the field. Also have the level 7 one that, you know, can negate spells and traps. He's going to use Ghost Ogre, but that doesn't really matter too much. The Rescue Cat already activated and the Crystal Needle Fiber again coming in very nicely here with the TG Wonder Magician popping the set. And now again, I should be able to attack for a game. Yep, this is indeed definitely enough to attack for a game. So, um, so... On their own, the, the current Skyfang monster, uh, monsters, okay, they do have some nice shenanigans, but again, you're committing to the field, maybe make you very uh, vulnerable, again, to disruption, to mass dis destruction from your opponent, but having those other engines, th those other link engines, can definitely uh, put you in a much better position. Um, here in this case the opponent goes first and here is yeah definitely something I was talking about earlier same for something like Magical Musketeers or other decks that heavily rely on their normal summon and if their normal summon is negated or their first effect is negated then you're somewhat stuck right uh, that Venus Chain of the Fog Blade indeed um, prevents my monster my Stratos from using its special summon effect that you know that would have left me searching something etc etc but nope that's not the case and normally 
not, not really sure if he would have been able to go for game here, but it's not going to matter too much since again he was able to search out a third fog blade and those high level monsters in my hand definitely are not going to help. So a possible play here is with the Predator Plant, um, normal summon, I use desires but drawing double hand trap out of that is not going to be that great right so again if the opponent is able to stop the normal summon then uh, then this deck can't really do anything um last game the opponent got to start and again showing uh showcasing the possibilities of this deck getting the normal summon of the guided pops set cards special summon i believe the stratos so that uh, level two will trigger because the stratos is summoned level three is summoned popping one of his sets the stratos will activate or i can activate the stratos effect to special summon level eight level eight again activates um using its spot of duality effect revealing the top cards and then um yeah eventually get some more searches, go for that Thessius opening up access to Crystal Needle Fiber again giving me more options to play during my opponent's turn. Go for Maxi, he does try to Edge Blossom the Maxi but I eventually opt to negate his Edge Blossom again if he wants to special summon he needs to commit, at least he needs to commit to get rid of my board right uh, so I'm definitely going to draw, hopefully going to draw more monsters out of it or at least more uh, cards. Again I believe I already have like four cards off of the maxi so that's definitely quite good and here i was talking about earlier is the sky fang brigade training the trap cards should activate you know it's like when your sky fang or at least when one of your sky fang monster is destroyed you can special summon a sky fang monster from your deck uh, lower level other than that particular sky fang monster but i believe here that trap card is currently programmed that it special summons a, le um, a higher level monster in this case it wouldn't have mattered that much well well actually yes again i would have been able to special summon something from my deck and then thus triggering the stratos during your opponent's turn but again it's it's not going to matter too much the most important thing was having a low level sky fang monster on the field and then use its uh, special summon effect and go from there right so again the current main deck is at 44 cards feel free to drop a couple of cards like the the gimmicky plant engine maybe but again those extra engines give this deck uh, a boost so again all feedback definitely appreciated and as always thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leak them signing out. Peace.